guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Today we are really tackling a big project. I'm going to be cleaning, reorganizing all my single shadows in my shadow collection, in my single shadow collection, which is a lot. There's a lot of shadows here. I really just want to get them organized. I want to organize them by brand and just kind of revamp it, make sure everything's okay. I feel like you know, one of the things with having a lot of anything, there's a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of adjusting and organizing that kind of just inevitably comes with it. And I like to do that just to take care of my stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I have lots of just like random small palettes that have like accumulated with a bunch of different brands in it. I have squares, I have these like Sydney Grace, more like, 12 pan palettes that I just showed. Um, I just have a few singles that I already took out here. I have these big palettes and these are a big part of my collection. So any brand I have a significant amount of single shadows from, I like to keep by brand and then I kind of organize them by color in there. So um, yeah, I'm going to take all of them out. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna do that first and then just like clean down the palettes and then go from there. That's what I'm thinking. That might be a mistake because like I'm telling you, this really isn't that many, but I think I'm just gonna take everything out, then I can clean everything and go from there and like start sorting, I guess. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I thought I would just jump in first and say that I'm not gonna take everything out because I just realized I won't even have the space for it. So instead, I'm gonna focus on some of the brands that I have the most from. So I've started some piles. This is my Glam Shop stuff. This is Sydney Grace. These are Shine by SD. And then these are my Luxie shadows. And I'm gonna start there. And then as I come across things that I don't have piles for or aren't these four groups, I'm going to put them to the side. And then as I come across the main palettes that are those brands, like this is all Luxie for the most part, then I will kind of set that off to the side and deal with them individually. I just, <laughs> it's not like ideally how I wanna do it, but I think just space wise, it makes the most sense. And and is the least chaotic, probably. <laughs>
Okay, <laughs> um, I know it looks like a lot <laughs> right now. So um, basically I have my Lethal Cosmetics ones here. I have all my Luxies here, Shine by SD, some Cleona, uh, Glam Shop, and then Sydney Grace. <laughs> it's so much. And then these are like randoms as I find them. Sometimes I put them into where they kind of go, but I feel like, you know, you kind of have to <laughs> just start somewhere and then go back to stuff. So I'm gonna put all the randos kind of to the side right now. The next order business, I have one completely new unopened <laughs> uh, colored rain palette. That's where these big ones are from. I really suggest they do different deals on them. I know I've gotten mine for like, I don't even know, uh, maybe $20 a piece, maybe a little less even depending. I really like these for storage. They're pretty heavy because they have mirrors in them. So um, in terms of like actually working out of these palettes, I cannot open it, my gosh. And doing eye looks, it would be too, honestly exhausting, unless you were just gonna have them like laying out. But look at it, it's all fresh and clean. I love that. I think I'm gonna start a brand new Sydney Grace palette. Sorry if the focus has been kind of crazy, but I am going to, I think, start a whole new Sydney Grace palette. I depotted recently my Sydney Grace and Temptalia collaboration palettes as well as I have quite a few singles and I think they'll fit pretty nicely in a palette all on their own. So I'm gonna dedicate a full palette to them. While I do that, I think I'm gonna get just some of these shadows out of here. Um, and I have a few empty palettes. They aren't clean by any means, but I'm going to put some shadows in here so I can just have some space to breathe, honestly. All right, I realized I probably already like missed filming some stuff, so I'm so sorry, but I'm trying to get enough space here so I can get all just my Sydney Grace down and then go from there. Um, it's gonna be this kind of revolving door of a mil <laughs> so many single shadows, like it's so many, but um, you know, it's really bringing back my love for them, especially like the, all these shine ones. They're just so beautiful, so special, and I'm excited to just get everything really organized. I find I'm always the most inspired to play with my makeup when it feels well taken care of and is clean and organized and things are in their place a little bit more than when it's just like absolute chaos. That makes me want to avoid it a bit. <laughs> so it just had to be done. So anyway, I'm going to keep doing that and getting this cleared so we can actually start putting some Cindy Grace away.
All right, I believe these are all of my Sydney Grays. Like, I think I did it. So I'm gonna actually set this aside still. We're still not even there. I want to first kind of color coordinate these in a way, that's how I like to organize them best. Uh, I actually might just clean the bottoms off though. Like everything is just so dirty. <laughs> well, you know, powdery. Like my fingertips are super shimmer filled, matte filled, like, you know, it's just kind of messy, especially moving things around so much and all that, sometimes they break. But I think I want to at least, I just wanna kinda like rub the bottoms of these off and then hopefully this section will be clean is what I'm hoping for. I think that will just help with trying to keep a semi-clean base. Anyway, that's that's the goal. I mean, I don't know how clean I can even get this stuff, but we shall see. Okay, I think I did it. <laughs> um, you know, I know that's like so tedious, but I think it's just gonna keep everything a little bit cleaner, a little bit longer. So I hope it will be worth it, we'll see. Um, and now I can put these in and then move them around in here and it's not gonna get as dirty. That was the one of the big motivating factors for that. So now I'm gonna organize these in color coordinated order or something close to that, we'll see.
Okay, I finally did it. That took literally forever. I have no idea how much I'm actually gonna put in this video because I'm realizing I don't know how much time I have to even film <laughs> this. So I don't even know if I'll do everything today, but we'll do a couple more brands, maybe like my bigger palettes and I'll do the singles on my own when I can just chill out, I don't know. It's a lot, but here are all my Sydney Grays. So I actually organized these in columns. I find that's like less intimidating than trying to do the zigzag type thing. Um, I get pretty inspired by seeing the columns and um, I don't know, I like the like kind of dripping rainbow effect it gives. Now you can see like I have tons of the kind of taupey shades from uh, Sydney Grace. When I first made an order, I was going for these like neutrals and taupes because that's what I was like excited for and they definitely have just so many of those. And then a lot of the colors coming from like the bonus shadows kind of that came out during the Christmas in July sale a couple years ago, as well as the Temptalia collabs. That's where a lot of the blues and greens are. So yeah, I think it looks really nice. Definitely deserved its own palette. I mean, it's pretty full. I only have a couple more rows that I could even do. So that is Sydney Grace done. We got one, <laughs> one done. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna tackle the looksy stuff next, but I'm gonna clean down my palettes first. So all of these are Luxie shadows. I'm gonna take them all out and then I have another palette that's also full of Luxie shadows. Actually, as I'm putting these out, I'm gonna clean them off like I was doing earlier. So that way we can try to keep it a little more clean. <laughs> that's the goal anyway, we'll see. I do think it helped with the last palette though. So I'm just gonna rub all these <laughs> as I take them off and then I'll clean this palette and then I'm gonna work on finding the other palette that has the rest of my Luxie shadows because I think I'm gonna have to actually organize this into two palettes. So I'll probably do a warm one and a cool one. Like basically do like reds, oranges, warm neutrals, and then like blues, greens, purples, and cool neutrals. I don't know, we'll see.
Okay, so I've taken out all the Luxie shadows. Now I am going to organize them first and separate them by warm tones and cool tones. I could also do like shimmers and mattes, but I don't think it'll be as inspiring to see like a bunch of mattes together, you know? So I'm gonna do like pinks, reds, oranges, yellows, those colors, and then blues, greens, purples in the other side and just see how that goes.
Okay guys, so here is what it finally looks like. I got my greens and blues, I got my pinks and reds. There's definitely some room in each palette to still grow, but they wouldn't fit in one. And I, I don't know, I, I'm gonna play around with this organization and see how it does. It's definitely kind of fun and different. It was hard sometimes to decide like what's cool and what's warm when it's kind of in the middle or it's like a more neutral color, you know? So I just did my best and I think it's really pretty. So I'm actually gonna end this here tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna keep adding to this video. I might do that, but I can't do any more tonight because this is taking uh, forever. <laughs> I got shit to do um, and it doesn't involve this at the moment, but um, I have a few done. I'm really happy with that. So the Luxie shadows are done and the Sydney Grace are done, which is really exciting. Oh, wow. You can see that these shadows were so big. They're so puffed out that they actually um, got on the mirror. That's kind of interesting. Some of them are from the Temptalia collection. They really were puffed out. But anyway, okay, so uh, if you see more in the video, then we kept going, and if not, um, it's gonna end here, and I'll try to do maybe more of these if you guys like it. Um, I'm not really sure. It's kind of like just cleaning with me, and I hope you enjoyed if it's the end, so bye.